Okay, testing one, two, three. This sermon's entitled, Talk, Talk, and Talk. Now, let's turn to um, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Let me open with prayer and then with a few verses. All right, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Our dear God, you've allowed us to um, get into your word and to understand what your word says on this subject. Keep us safe, bless us abundantly. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13 reads, we having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed, and therefore I have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak. Now, the first talk is we talk to God in prayer. We, we, you know, the second talk is God talks to us through reading his, reading the Bible, and then the third talk is we talk to others about God. So we, so God talks to us through the Bible. Okay, we talk to God through prayer, and then we talk about God to others. Okay, I believe, therefore I speak. Okay, anyone who's a believer in Christ needs to be telling others about it. That's just the way it is. Okay, now turn over to Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6. I'm going to give, an, I'm going to give a biblical example of uh, all, all, three, all three forms of the word talk here. Okay, Matthew chapter 6. And take a look at verse 6. But thou, when thou prayest, Enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father. That's talking to God, which is in heaven. <clears throat> pray to thy Father. Okay, back up. Pray to thy Father, which is in secret, and thy Father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. Okay, so that's the, you know, we need to be talking to God. Now, here's how God talks to us. God talks to us through his word. Now, let me just go ahead and turn over to... um. First Timothy. First Timothy chapter four reads. Hang on one second. In verse one, now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Okay, now the Holy Spirit's what speaks to us. Through, through the reading of God's word. And um, that's what that's what the Bible teaches. Okay, the Holy Spirit reveals stuff to us. Now, let's take, there's a couple more verses I wanted to look at. Let me see if these verses are germane to this sermon, because I have them written down in these notes. 2 Timothy chapter 1. Okay, now, telling others about the gospel, telling others about God. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 8. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God. So it says, be not ashamed of God's word. Okay, people that don't share their faith are ashamed, period. Okay, and maybe they just don't, they just need some practice with it. My point is, you know, we are to, we are to talk to God through prayer, just, just basically open up, just say, dear God, you know, and then start talking to him, like you would talk to any any everyday person. But you know, with God deserves our respect and our reverence. You know, that's why we we uh we ask we ask things in Jesus Christ's name and we ask according to his will. My point is we need to talk to God in prayer. We need to uh let God talk to us through Bible reading. Okay? Let the Holy Spirit reveal stuff to us and then we need to talk to others about God. Tell them and telling them the good news. You know, first of all, we let them let them know that they're a sinner, but Jesus Christ died for their sins. He was buried and rose again. He paid for your eternal life. He paid for, you know, one's eternal life by his own blood. And he he paid it all. So it's a free gift. It's, it's by God's grace. And then we can tell people other things about God. When they start asking questions, why do you believe in all this? Well, the, because, there, first of all, number one, I'm a sinner. Second of all, um, there's no other hope. There's no other way. This is the only way to heaven. It's to believe on Jesus Christ. It's to trust God and, and to, to take him at his word. You know, he says in his word, these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. Hey, I believe that. Okay, God's word is the authority. Okay, so the thing is, talk, talk, talk. Um, that's all I have. I mean, this I didn't come up with this concept. I just felt like, you know, you know, people talk about this all the time. I just figured, I figured I'd, uh, you know, add a, add a few scriptures to, to this whole concept. You know, talk, talk, and talk. You know, God talks to us through his word. We talk to him through prayer, and then we talk to others about him. That's all I have. Let me close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for allowing me to preach this little sermonette. It's just, I just pray that you allow us to um, understand the necessity and the need, uh, the importance of getting into your word, the importance of uh, 
sharing our faith, the importance of uh, praying. And the Bible makes it very clear. These things are, are, are very important for the Christian walk. Okay? The, okay, after we're saved by grace, these things are very important to have, you know, fellowship, fellowship with, uh, with you. So keep us safe, bless us abundantly, in Jesus' name I pray, amen.